was suggesting to go to the Tokyo District Court to file a bankruptcy in Japan. I said, mm, but that's not what I'm hearing. They said, no, you better. And you did it? Yeah, I did it uh, next okay. day because I heard, I watched on TV that the Lima employees in New York office was carrying those uh, boxes <laughs> of their own stuff. That's right. Uh, oh, so, so until last minute, I never knew that Lima goes bankrupt. It's the last minute? Yes, right. Wow. Yeah. And uh, the guy who did it is Hank Paulson. Hank Paulson was the uh, head of investment banking when I was working for investment banking division in New York office of Goldman. <laughs> so mm -hmm. my former boss <laughs> put me in the bankruptcy. Right. Yeah. But then you were over the whole thing. You were the CEO. Of Japan. Of Japan yeah. at that time. Yeah. So you, after that happened, you filed bankruptcy, but then you had to dissolve everything. So yes. that took another, what, yeah, two, another years? two years? Two yeah, years. Eventually it took mm. 10 years. It took me two years to make a plan of how to repay the, how to sell the assets and repay the lenders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, we had about what uh, four, forty-six billion dollars of loans outstanding, outstanding. in Tokyo yes. alone. So that's and we had a lot of assets, derivatives, bonds, equities. We we made a plan to sell it in an ordinary manner, which took me two years. To set the plan. To set a plan, and, and then the plan ten has years to be approved, approved by the court and uh, lenders, mm -hmm. and which was approved at the end of two years. So I said, I did my job, business job, right. but the other lawyers and accountants took care of it. So it took uh, mm -hmm. ten years to dissolve after, everything. To, to dissolve everything, right? Mm -hmm. How many of your staff stayed with you? Uh, with about thirty. Of them. How many did you have initially? First? Initially, fifteen hundred people in Tokyo all the Salima Brothers. So that's why I saw some of them on TV walking out with their stuff too. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> a Rapungi. They were walking right. out of Rapungi with their yeah. their stuff, just like they were doing in New York. That's right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so you had a fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. And then when after the after you filed bankruptcy. Yeah. How did you? Well. well the, you know, a day after Lehman's New York office were declared bankruptcy, I went down, down to Grand Hill, Grand Hyatt Hotel. You know, that's where we used to have lunch or meetings. And there are a lot of headhunters and uh, employees of Lehman's by my employees. They're chatting. I'm obviously they're talking about what the you know, next job they're going to get. I said, oh, this is not bad. Lima in Japan is going to fall apart. So we decided to sell Lehman's Japan operation together with Lima Asia and Europe. Mm -hmm. And we hold, uh, we decided to hire Rothschild. And people from the UK, Rothschild, flew to Tokyo and we had meetings for a day or two. And immediately we decided to sell Lehman's franchise in Asia and Europe uh, as soon as possible. Because as the time goes by, the, the assets go to go there. Mm -hmm. So after three or four days, we had an auction held, held in Hong Kong. And then Nomura Securities bought it. That was fastest, by far the fastest a Monday transaction I did. <laughs>